Diary, hello. It's um, October 2019, and this is a brief introduction to the QNAP TS673. Now, um, I'm going to go into a bit of background first of all, <clears throat> which is that uh, I've been looking for a NAS for some time. In fact, over two years. Uh, I currently do have a QNAP NAS, and it's used for all sorts of things, which will become apparent in a second. Um, I've always wanted to upgrade the NAS to 10 gigabit networking. My current NAS doesn't uh, allow for that. So literally for two years I have been looking for something appropriate. And you know what? I found something. So uh, it's actually a model that I had overlooked and has been a, a, around for a while. Uh, but in essence it's, it's gradable to 10, gig, 10 gigabit ne uh, networking if I, if I need it to be. And I, and I, would, like it. I would like that. Um, so I'm quite excited, it may, may not sound it, but I am rather excited about the whole process. Um, since it's been about two or three years since I had a NAS, I'll go over what it's used for these days, and it's slightly changed. In the old days, when we were in Switzerland with much higher internet speeds, uh, the NAS was used as a sort of local data backup and a pass-through to cloud backups. Um, now we're living in England and internet speeds are significantly reduced, um, we've sort of lost the cloud element. So in a way, having a, a local copy um, is, is, is more important, although getting the data off-site is, is now a bit of a problem. Um, so what we use our NAS for is not as primary storage, but it, it acts as a backup um, for all our computers in our household. Uh, if I'm working on a computer and I need to make an ad hoc backup, it, it might be uh, you know, four or five terabytes, I always know the space on the NAS to make that backup. Uh, and additionally, the NAS is a central point of focus for things like media files, the music and video, although increasingly, because of um, things like Amazon Prime, uh, we just don't really consume video and audio in the same way. So Amazon Prime and, and Spotify mean that most of our uh, audio, audible and, and video sources are now just streamed. So in a way, the NAS has sort of lost that edge to it and is now really used for centralised data storage, backups and intermediate data when I'm working on something. Specifically, uh, if I'm fixing something, I might need to do, like I say, a, a 5 or even 10 terabyte backup. So uh, it's a sort of staging safe area which I can recover machines from. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the TS673. Um, I am quite excited, again, it, it may not sound like it is, but having waited all this time and done a lot of, of saving of cash to afford what I think is going to be a great product, um, let's just take the cover off. So I've undone the three screws at the back, so this cover should come off quite easily. Okay. It's off. Uh, so the first thing you see, it's a six bay NAS at the front. Uh, it's hot swappable, so you've got trays that you can just lift these tabs out of and then the uh, can you see that you can lift the tab and then the caddy will come out at the moment I've just populated it with a few spare discs so here is the uh, the caddy you'll see it's, it's got a two and a half inch drive and the, and the new idea would be to populate this with two and a half inch discs although again since cost is, a, is a, an issue these days I might just recycle old three and a half inch drives until I've got the funds to uh, to do something more appropriate. So let's look inside the box and one important thing you're going to see is that you've got two PCI times four slots here and indeed this box doesn't come with 10 gigabit networking and so QNAP does sell a card, it sells a variety of cards for 10 gigabit networking. Uh, some are combined with the NVMe PCIe disk uh, interfaces so you can get one card which has got the capable to put two NVMe disks on it, uh, PCI M2 disks, and also 10 gigabit networking. But there's a little star on the on the review which sort of says throughput might be limited if you're you know using the disks a lot. So I think what might be more sensible is to have a, have one card with a, a PCI E 10 gigabit network, and a second card if you want it for M2 disk storage. But although this machine has got six drives here, it's also got ta -da, two, you can see it here, two SATA uh, M2 disk storage storage bays. 
it's a real shame they're not PCIe distillage bays. I'm sure they'll bring out a version soon that's got PCIe bays, but uh, I can't wait any longer. So here you can put in two two discs. You are just talking prices. You can probably get a, a one terabyte branded, good branded uh, disc, SATA disc, for about £120, I've been checking. So, again, the, the base price of this unit is about £700. The price keeps going up when you start to order all these options, as I'm about to explain. So you can fit it with six drives here and two M2 discs here. But we're not done with yet. Here are four SO DIM slots, and each DIM can be 16 gigabytes. So you can actually fit a total of 64 gigabytes of memory in here. And since this is an AMD processor, it can do standard Intel virtualization. And where is the processor? Well, that's the letdown. I've taken this off to have a look. It's a, it's a soldered down AMD quad core very baby processor. But unfortunately, it is, it is soldered down to, the, down to the motherboard. So there's no chance of taking it off. So there you have it. You've got six drive bays. You've got four memory slots and two M2 um, disk slots and you've got two PCIe slots. Oh, and by the way, um, if we look at the dimensions here, it's just under 23 centimetres. And, and this space here is no doubt there so that you can get a longish PCIe card in because it's just, it's just air. Otherwise, they could have made the case, you know, this, this, this big could be this big but they've chosen to make it longer so you can get the PCIe cards in. Okay so that's the overview I hope you've enjoyed it I, I uh, hope this is going to be uh, the start of a, um, a brand new NAS with much higher throughput than the current NAS. I've had two I've had two 10 gigabit ports on my on my workstation for three years now but not been able to use them and maybe things will change. So I look forward to giving you some benchmarks and uh, a better configure system later. Thanks for watching Darren.